New for you tonight, explosive growth in West Bear County causing concerns about safety, especially when it comes to the roads and infrastructure there. The South Texas four dealer Sky 4 over the scene of a deadly accident just yesterday along Highway 211. This is the second deadly incident in that area in as many weeks. Now it's an issue that local leaders and the people living in that area all agree. Something needs to be done, but they also say it needs to happen now. Thanks for joining us this evening, friends. I'm Jonathan Martinez. I'm Mandy Noel. So what's the plan? News for San Antonio's Ethan Trejo went to get answers tonight from frustrated neighbors and the leaders in charge of fixing it. It was just yesterday that an accident occurred here, just along Highway 90 and the State 211 interchange, resulting in the death of 22-year-old Isaac Talamentes. Some residents of the area remained frustrated and questioned whether the infrastructure of the roadways may be causing accidents. One way has to stop, the other way gets to go, and we just constantly have people waving people out and you know, one car doesn't see that. They don't have to stop. One car does. That car goes, you know, then they hit each other. It's an area that's experienced a significant population boom, but the existing roadways are having trouble keeping up with the growth. Mother of three, Alexandria Miller, says improvements can't come soon enough. It's very dangerous. Um, it's scary for our kids. Um, I trust myself as a driver, but I don't trust all the other drivers out there. My son's bus has been in two accidents this year. Bear County Judge Peter Sakai says that both the county and TxDOT are already looking at solutions for the area. On that western sector, yeah, I, I'm on the chair of the U.S. Highway 90 corridor, and we're focusing on what improvements, especially for safety. Sakai says planning and projects needs to happen sooner rather than later. We will look as to where the county responsibilities are and see what we can do in order to leverage our funds with the state funds and to try to make that highway safe. But Sakai was unable to provide specifics on what possible traffic improvements could be made. Meanwhile, residents like Miller have their own ideas about improvements. I'd love to see them put in a stoplight. Um, we need clear stop and goes. Apparently what they've got going on where it's like one place stops, one doesn't, isn't working. Ethan Trejo, News 4, San Antonio.